Hello everyone and welcome to our session today on Dynamics 365 App for Outlook, maintaining your CRM from your inbox. Joining us today is Kevin Clifford from Anovia Consulting. And before I pass it over to Kevin, I would like to remind you that this session is being recorded and it will be posted to our on-demand webinar library later this week for you to review and share with anyone. And if you have any questions, please feel free to type those into the questions box. We will get them answered at the end of the session. And now I will pass it on to Kevin to kick off our presentation. Thanks, Angie. Um, as Angie said, my name is Kevin Clifford. I'm part of the customer engagement team here at Anovia. And as such, our team uses the Dynamics 365 for sales as our CRM. The neat feature is that the Dynamics 365 has apps. The one of which I'm gonna talk about today is the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. And if you're like me, you probably struggle at times trying to keep your inbox organized, try to keep track of all the different emails you get. It seems like regardless of what type of communication you have with an account, whether it be a face-to-face -face meeting or a phone call, eventually you will get an email. And uh, I've tried folders, subfolders, and inevitably I end up losing track of an email. With the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook, that is no longer a problem whatsoever. So uh, today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of some of the functionality. So here, let me let me bring up my inbox. And if you look up here on the ribbon, you'll see the Dynamics 365 app has been installed in Outlook, and I've staged up a couple of emails that we can work with real quick just to show you some of the functionality. So I click here, the window will open here on the side in a second, or maybe two seconds. One of the first things you'll see is that it's asking that I create a contact. Typically, whenever I get a new account, um, they are already in the CRM uh, as a prospect, and then they're turned over to me as an account. Ron here is not in there as a contact. So the first thing we're going to do, close that. This little plus sign up here will give you different functions that you can do from right inside the email itself. So I need to create a contact. I click here on contact. And we're going to put in some brief information. Uh, get Ron's first name in. Again, because they're already existing. Yep, we got to type. They already exist in our CRM. I can simply click there, and he's associated with that information. Come down here, put his email in. And then we'll go ahead and put his phone number in as well. I can see I could continue um, adding different information, but I think you get the concept there. So I'm going to simply go down here and hit save and close. And now I've created his contact um, in the CRM right out of my Outlook. We're going to close this here. Now you'll see that this record has not been tracked yet. And by tracked, it means associated with a record in CRM. So I can go down here and we're going to set the tracking to stoneware manufacturing and it'll default to the last couple that you've used. So click there. You're going to watch here. It says track pending. Uh, this is server side synchronization, which means that this can take up to 15 minutes to actually track, but it will track in the background. So you can go ahead and close this and it will actually track even though you've already closed the email. So if we look here, we see that he's requesting we uh, set up a time when we can have a meeting. So we'll go back, click on the ellipses here, 
add an activity. And we can add a task or add an appointment. In this case, we're going to add an appointment. It'll pop up the window. Required attendees. Okay, we're obviously going to have Ron there at that meeting. And we'll click OK. And then we can move on. No additional atten optional attendees will be needed. Meeting to discuss current status. Location, we'll make that Ron's office. We're going to have to pick a date and a time. So let's go to the, and we're going to make that for Friday. Time will actually, let's make that for 9 a.m. End time, we're going to say, oh, it's probably going to be about a two hour meeting. And then we can go ahead and you can see there's other options that we can put in here, but we're just going to go ahead and save and close. Again, this will be associated uh, with Stoneware in my CRM, but it will also populate my Outlook calendar. Um, it'll do that automatically here again because of the server-side synchronization. If you would jump to your calendar right away, you, know, you won't see it there for, like I say, up to 15 minutes. So we've had our meeting, and Ron has followed up with a, another email. Now, if you noticed, as soon as I clicked on the other email, the Dynamics app window closed. Um, I, I like it that way because it gives me a lot of acreage here to work in my emails. Some people don't like it. Uh, they want to keep that window pinned. You don't have a pinning function directly in the app, uh, but your admin can go in, and there are instructions on how they can go in and keep that pinned here constantly for you. Like I say, I prefer it this way. So I hit uh, my Dynamics 365 app again. Give it a second to load. And you can see in the email that he wants to upgrade their system to Business Central. And the first step of that would be the planning engagement. I'm going to go up, hit the plus sign again, because now I want to create what we call an opportunity in our CRM. And the topic is going to be planning engagement. We have certain default fields that we have set up in our CRM that we have to fill in in order for the record to be uh, kept. And there's Ron's contact. We click there. Here again, we're going to select Stoneware. And this is just so that this record is associated across all those fields. I've got to select a price list and select US dollars because we do have a couple of price lists based on currency. Lead source, we're going to say, ah, Ron was at our customer conference, which Angie's going to remind you is coming up shortly. Our estimated revenue is going to be $40,000. And an estimated close date we're going to say is the 23rd. I'm also going to put in here that I estimate it's going to be 200 hours of application consultants and services. We could continue, fill out the rest of this, but right now, uh, to keep this brief, we're going to hit save and close. Give it a chance to save. Now, we can go over to my CRM. And you look here, here's the account that was created. Click on that. And you can see here where the email has been associated with this account. If I look here, it can open this activity and actually view the email right here inside of CRM. The other feature is that uh, to keep my Outlook looking neat and clean, if I delete the email in Outlook, if it's been tracked in here, the email will remain here. You can also reply to emails directly out of the CRM, forward it, save it, etc. So let's go back.
And come on. <laughs> And we're going to stall here for a minute. Just give it a second. There we go. If I come over to this account and look at the meeting, you can see here where I set up that meeting in CRM. Now, I want to go over and look at the opportunity that we created. Simply go up to the menu bar, click opportunities. Here's that planning engagement opportunity I created. Click on it. And everything that I've done in the Outlook is now here. And this record will be kept in CRM again. Even if I delete those emails that are associated with this, um, it will remain here. So that's brief overview of what we have in the Dynamics 365 app for Outlook. If you want to download this, simply go into your Dynamics 365 here on settings, click on this. You'll see here that there's apps for Dynamics 365 and there are several apps. We're just discussing the one today. You look, my app has already been loaded for Outlook, but a nice resource is right here where it says learn more, click on that. And you get a user's guide. This will talk to you about deploying the app, customizing the app, or a really nice page to look at if you're interested in the app itself is using uh, the user's guide here. And it will actually walk you down through and show you step-by-step step the different screens that you'll see in Outlook and the functions of those different screens. So. So if there's uh, any further questions, you can go ahead and ask those at this time. Angie, do we have any questions? It appears there are no questions, Kevin. Okay, I think either done a really good job or everybody went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so. If anyone does have any, please feel free to contact us or you can contact Kevin and we can get those uh, questions addressed. Thank you, Kevin, for the presentation today and to everyone on today's call, or if you're watching on demand, thank you for joining us. And we do have a few more webinars coming soon. On Thursday, April 4th, we have Whit Lester from NAV Payroll presenting on an introduction of Primo Payday. And then also on April 4th, we have Jeff Perkolsky from Anovia Consulting, and he will be presenting on Microsoft Power BI with NAV and Business Central. Uh, that webinar will be in the afternoon on April 4th. And then we have our annual customer conference coming up um, in just three short weeks, April 24th and 25th in the Wisconsin Dells. Contact your rep or visit our conference page where it will have all of the details of our conference. And that website is anovia.com slash conferences. This is a free event to attend. We would love to have you. Register now. Hotel rooms are going fast. All right. Thank you again for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you again soon on another Anovia webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.